4.47 left to go in the first half. It's a nail biter in terms of the offensive variety. 11 all, both teams shooting under 30% from the field. UNLV just four of 23 from the field. San Jose State five of 19 from the field. Razia Potter is at the line after foul call on Brown. 61% free throw shooter on the season for the freshman from Tracy, California, located about an hour and a half east of here. Potter had a career high 17 points on December 2nd at UC Irvine. He's a criminal justice major with a minor in anthropology. So doing big things in her first year on campus, converts both foul shots and the Spartans with the lead once again. San Jose State doing a really good job with Jamie Craighead substitutions of keeping the bodies fresh and what that, that's doing is it's allowing them to be able to continuously trap at the half court. Long rebound gathered in by Letitia Smith. Lucky break, Justice Etheridge into the game for the first time. She's missed two straight threes. Rajane Wade, they call a jump ball. It looked like she traveled as she went up. Doesn't matter because the possession arrow was with San Jose State. Wade already with six rebounds. And Katie Powell has six of her own sitting on the bench right now. Wilson getting positioned down low, trapped by three Lady Rebels, can't get the shot up. And Alyssa Anderson picks up the board. I think that Kathy Olivier inserted Justice Etheridge, the sharp shooting freshman Las Vegas native to try and get some offense going because UNLV they are last in the conference in three-point shooting percentage. Just can't get anything to go, but Jordan Bell says, I'll fix that. Tied up once again. Her first field goal of the game. Wilson working on Bell. Shot blocked out, but saved by Wilson. Cole Haas thought about a three. Jukes Anderson out of her feet. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Spartans have got to get something going here. Looks like Potter's gonna take herself. She's gonna have to do something with it. Two seconds, one, no good. They rattled in and out. And UNLV pushes in transition. Anderson to Etheridge, wide open three, way long. And a good board by Michaela Wilson. Getting to it quickly, Wilson, six rebounds on the day. That leads all Spartans. Five new players set to check in for San Jose State. Hofoka, cross court, Cole Haas, three well long. Melissa Anderson picks up another rebound, her third. Check that, her second. Overarching pass to Jordan Bell, tries a fade away, and Wilson with her seventh rebound. And a timeout called by Jamie Craighead, San Jose State's first called timeout of the half. We will stay here for this 30-second timeout. What the Spartans have been able to do with their frequent substitutions is keep UNLV from getting into a transition set. And because of that, once they get in the half court, the Rebels are really struggling in terms of not necessarily finding open shots, but converting them because they're being forced down later in the shot clock to potentially take some shots that they don't want to take. And yet, it's a tie game because they're out rebounding San Jose State 25 to 14. They've had second chance opportunities, they just have not been able to convert them. One more foul on San Jose State, and the Lady Rebels are in the bonus. They call a double dribble on Sydney Lewis there. Eighth turnover for San Jose State. Eight as well for UNLV. Just two minutes left in the half now. And this is gonna finish 
Nice block from Danae Marquez coming behind. Didn't look like Anderson was going to shoot the ball, but creates the deflection and gets the turnover. Now the Spartans running motion. Benali, long three, ring it up. And Elise Benali with her third. Check that second triple. She leads all scorers with six. And a travel call on Letitia Smith. That long ball may just be what the doctor ordered for San Jose State in order to get the offensive rhythm going. Benali has six. No other Spartan has more than two. Turnover, Smith driving the lane. Good job by Sidney Lewis to force an off-balance shot, but Paris Strother able to come up with the offensive rebound. UNLV, not a team that likes to shoot a lot of threes, but may be forced into them. Wide open on the block, Strother can't get it to go. It was in the basket about halfway down and popped out. That's just been the type of day it's been for UNLV. Nothing going right on the offensive end for the Lady Rebels. Lewis drives, shot up off the glass and in. Sydney Lewis getting into the scoring action. She missed her first three before converting that bucket. And the Spartans with their largest lead of the game. Five second difference, shot and game clock. Deflected out of bounds there by Lewis. Powell was going to have a wide open jumper if Lewis didn't get in front of the basketball. Whoa. Anderson gets clambered down upon by Sidney Lewis. Really good pump fake there by Anderson. Really don't think that she had any intent of shooting that shot. She's just five of 35 from three point range this season. But Lewis bit, that's her second personal. And now the referees are discussing whether or not it was a shooting foul. I don't think that there is any possibility of a flagrant here. Anderson at the line this season, a 64% free throw shooter. The senior out of Rancho Cucamonga, California, who's got a really interesting lineage. Both of her parents played basketball at Cal Poly Pomona and one of her many uncles Five-time All-Star, Mike Sweeney, most notably with the Kansas City Royals, also played a couple of seasons with the Oakland Athletics in the mid-2000s. So the referees are at the replay monitor to try and sort this out. There is no replay in-house per Mountain West Conference rules. And both teams will head to the bench. 22.2 seconds left to go in the first half. San Jose State with a five point lead on UNLV. If the shot was a pump fake, the ball never left her hand, so it would only be a two shot foul. That's what they're trying to discuss right now is whether or not they classify it as a shot. The ball never left Anderson's hand and therefore should probably be a foul on the floor, and they are going to say it is a two-shot foul, which is the correct call. Sometimes instant replay can get you frame-by-frame frame moments that if they had caught the ball leaving Anderson's hand, they may have been able to call it a three-point shot. And one thing that's also been significant today for UNLV are their struggles at the free throw line. As a team, 65% coming into this game, just four of 10 at the charity stripe thus far today, but they have made 
eight more trips to the line than San Jose State. Four point game, final possession of the half. Marquez handling the point. Good job by Leticia Smith to pressure the ball. Not much movement for the Spartans. As it looks like it's gonna be isolation ball to finish off the first half. Marquez trying to create space. Benali, long three, good if it goes. Just off iron. And that's how the first half will come to an end. A barn burner here at the event center on the campus of San Jose State, 18-14. Spartans lead at the half. We'll come back with some of the halftime totals and look around the Mountain West Conference. This is San Jose State women's basketball on the Mountain West Network. <laughs> 